find the square root of 40 to find the square root by long division method for that first we should frame it in this way c that is 40 okay next now here we have 40 40 is not a perfect square so now we should check 40 lies between which two perfect square numbers perfect square numbers are these that is 4 into 4 16 5 into 5 25 6 into 6 36 7 into 7 49 and it goes on these numbers are called perfect square numbers here we have 40 40 lies between these two numbers so we should take the smaller number that is 36 36 is for 6 times 6 so you take 6 here 6 here 36 here now you subtract 40 minus 36 is 4. Here you should add these two numbers and write here. So 6 plus 6 is 12. Now I should write a number here. When I write a number here then this number will be smaller than this. So in normal division what we used to do? We used to take a decimal and take one zero here. But here we should take two zeros. While finding the square root, we should take two zeros. It's a rule. Remember that. Okay. Next. Now here I have to write a number. Condition is whatever number I write here. Here also I should write the same number. And also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but should not be larger than this number okay so let us find the number here so if i take 2 then i should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 into 2 4 2 1s 2 so this is far from 400 let us take 3 into 3 3 into 3 9 3 into 2 6 3 1s 3 this number is close to 400 if i take 4 that will be x that will be larger than 400 so we take this number for 3 so 3 here 3 here 369 here so now you subtract so here 3 9 10 10 minus 9 1 9 minus 6 3 3 minus 3 0 here you should add these two numbers and write so 123 plus 3 is 126 now I should write a number here when I write a number here then this number will be smaller than this we already have decimal so you directly take two zeros okay while finding the square root we should take two zeros not one now here i should write a number condition is whatever number i write here here also i should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but should not be larger than this number so let us find the number here so if we take 2 1 2 6 2 we should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 into 6 12 so 2 1 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 2 1's 2 so this is far from 
3100 so let us take 3 so 1 2 6 3 into 3 3 3 is 9 3 6 18 so 8 1 3 2 6 plus 1 7 3 1 3 this is exceeding 3100 so we should take this number itself for the number 2 so you take 2 here 2 here and here 2 5 2 4 Now you subtract. So here 0, 9, 10. 10 minus 4, 6. 9 minus 2, 7. Here 2, here 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 2 minus 2, 0. Here we should add these two numbers and write. 1, 2, 6, 2 plus 2 is 1, 2, 6, 4. Now I should write a number here. When I write the number here, then this number will be smaller than this. We already had taken decimal. So you directly take two zeros. Okay. Next. I have to write a number here. Condition is whatever number I write here, here also I should write the same number. And also, when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but should not be larger than this number okay so let us find the number here that is if we take 2 that is 1 2 6 4 2 we should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 4 8, 2 into 6 12, so 2, 1, 2 2 is 4 plus 1 5, 2 1 is 2. We got 25,000, this is far from that. So let us take 5. So 1 2 6 4 5 into 5, 5 5 is 25, so 5 2, 5 4 is 20 plus 2 22, so 2 2, 5 6 30 plus 2 32, so 2 3. 5 2 is 10 plus 3 13 so 3 1 5 1 is 5 plus 1 6 this is exceeding it so 5 not possible we should take 4 so 1 2 6 4 4 into 4 4 4 16 6 1 4 4 16 plus 1 17 7 1 4 6 24 plus 1 25 4 2 is 8 9 10 so 0 1 4 1 is 4 plus 1 5 so this we take so number 4 here 4 here and here 5 0 5 7 6 now you subtract and it goes on it is enough if we find up to three decimal places and the square root of 40 is this number that is 6. 3, 2, 4 and it goes on. So this is our answer. Am I clear?